Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing Taxi Driver. So Taxi Driver came out in 1976 and it was directed by Martin Scorsese and stars Robert De Niro. And in this film we see Robert De Niro, he plays the main character Travis Bickle, who is a Vietnam War veteran who lives in New York and he starts a job as a nighttime taxi driver. And Travis Bickle is a character, he's very lonely, he's very isolated and we actually see this film being narrated from his point of view. So he narrates it. We are constantly being told what his thoughts and feelings are throughout this film, what he is thinking. And as a character, he is constantly trying to connect with people throughout this film. So we see him near the start of this film. He falls for this girl, um, Betsy, played by Sybil Shepherd, And she works for the upcoming presidential candidate. So he walks into the office and tries to flirt with her and then he goes out on a couple of dates with her but eventually it starts to go wrong because he ends up taking her to a movie but the movie ends up being an x-rated movie which is maybe not what she had in mind so she doesn't want to see him anymore and then he gets frustrated with that and basically we see lots of events happen throughout this film where he fails to connect with people and he feels very isolated from society he sees everything that's going on around him all the people in the streets and he doesn't like what he sees because he can't connect with them he doesn't feel like he belongs in this society this as a film taxi driver it was really a film which put robert de niro on the map as a lead actor so before this robert de niro he had been in some films before like mean streets and the godfather part two but as a lead actor this was his first big film and this was really the film which helped elevate his career as one of the best leading actors in Hollywood. We also get some other great acting talent in this film. We get Jodie Foster, who plays Iris. Um, she actually plays um, Iris is a teenage prostitute in this film. It was a bit controversial at the time because she was only about 12, 13 years old. And Jodie Foster actually did have psychological treatment before the film, just to make sure that she would be fully prepared for it. But I have to say, I think Jodie Foster plays the character very well, very believable. And obviously, this was probably a film which really helped her career. Obviously, Jodie Foster went on to be a very successful actress in lots of other films. We also get Albert Brooks's character, although Albert Brooks, um, his character doesn't really have very much to do in this film, to be honest. He, he doesn't really so much the purpose other than as to... Um, someone for Travis Bickle to look at and maybe dislike. Albert Brooks's character works with Betsy for the presidential candidate and Travis takes an instant dislike to Albert Brooks's character. He instantly doesn't like him and he's saying to Betsy when, when he's saying to Betsy when they're in a diner that he doesn't particularly like him. We also get Harvey Keitel as um, as a pimp in this film although he only really appears towards the end probably only about an hour and 20 minutes into the film was when he first appeared and he only really has um two or three scenes in the film which aren't particularly long but but he he plays the role very well as quite a creepy not very likable character the score for this film was done by bernard herman bernard herman one of the best film composers of all time really he did he composed film scores from Psycho, Vertigo, and also even Citizen Kane as well. But this was actually one of the last film scores he did because Bernard Herrmann actually sadly died before this film was released. And at the end of the film, there's, there's a tribute to him at the end. I do like this film, but I have to say it's not going to be a film which appeals to everyone. The director, Martin Scorsese, is very known for doing very dark, gritty, character-driven films which maybe don't appeal to a massive audience. I mean, this film is not the type of film that a family can sit down together and watch. That would seem a little bit strange. It's certainly not going to appeal to everyone. But for someone who wants a really serious, driven, character, in-depth film, then this is one of the best ones that there is, to be honest. I mean, Robert De Niro, he's really not been much better than in this film. I mean, Robert De Niro is an actor, I think, has been in many great films. This was his first really, really great performance as an actor in a lead role. And I think everybody should try and give it a chance. Now, 
this film it's very violent um although really the only real proper violence in it is towards the end of the film but it is a very dark film and it does deal with some dark themes like child prostitution as well so like i said not a film which everybody is gonna well it's not a film which is going to appeal to everyone not everybody may may want to watch this which is fine um it, it actually it it didn't win any Oscars, this film. It was nominated for four Oscars, um, including Best Picture, but it actually lost the Best Picture Oscar to Rocky in the end. And that was actually almost seen as slightly controversial because actually Rocky as a film is probably a film which I prefer to this. But Taxi Driver is probably a much more realistic, darker, grittier looking film. And lots of people think that this film should have won the Best Picture Oscar and not Rocky. Robert De Niro's character in this film, Travis Bickle, was one of the best examples of an anti-hero character. So he's a character who is the main character in the film, but also has morals which maybe certainly don't line up with what we expect from a hero to have. Although he's actually seen as having morals, he talks about wanting to, wanting to clean up the streets and make things better. There's actually a scene when he's driving a taxi in the back seat is the presidential candidate. Travis is talking to the presidential candidate about what he wants to see improved in the city and he talks about wanting to clean up all the filth and the scum of the city so he obviously doesn't like what he sees but at the same time he obviously doesn't have very good morals because we can see he's not very good at interacting with people and he doesn't necessarily treat everyone in the best way or he doesn't treat people in a way which everybody else does in the film so as a person he feels very isolated but he has very strange morals and he wants to he wants to make everyone see things his way and i think that is something which lots of people can relate to we do relate to travis bickle as a character in some ways not every way obviously but he's 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 a man who's torn from society and he wants to belong but at the same time he wants everyone to see things his way i'll wrap up by saying taxi driver as a film i think it's fantastic i think it's one of martin scorsese's best film i really like martin scorsese as a director i'm going to give this film a rating of nine out of ten because i think it's well worth checking out um it's not actually my favorite scorsese film my favorite scorsese film is goodfellas but this is definitely one of the best ones so yeah there we go. Please check it out. So that is Taxi Driver. So what do you guys think? Have you seen Taxi Driver? Would you like to see it if you haven't? Please let me know what you think down in the comments. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.